Hi guys, my name is Jonathan De Silva, and in this video, I will be discussing when we can use the first two rules to solve a non-exact equation. The first two rules basically to convert a non-exact equation into an exact equation by multiplying it by a suitable integrating factor. So we shall see when the first two rules are applicable or whether they are not applicable. Now let me take a standard example to see when the first two rules are not applicable. So the equation is y squared plus 2yx squared dx plus 2x cubed minus xy dy is equals to 0. Let me take rule 1. To satisfy rule 1, equation should be homogeneous. But if I look at y square plus 2yx square, let me call this as function x comma y is equals to y square plus 2yx square. And to satisfy a rule for a homogeneous equation, f of tx comma ty should give me t raised to n f of x comma y. This is the basic requirement for a homogeneous equation where n is a natural number. Now let me substitute f of tx comma ty will give me now y I will replace as ty ty square plus 2 ty x the whole square which will give me t square y square plus okay this is tx plus 2 ty t square x square what is common is t so if I take t common out I will get y square plus 2 ty x square so this equation I cannot express it in this terms that is t raised to n into the function because the component t is present here so rule 1 is not applicable now let me check when rule 2 is applicable For rule 2, if I can express the same function as y into a function xy dx plus x into a function xy dy is equals to 0, then I can use rule 2. So let me check. Let me take y common from this terms. So what will remain is y plus 2x square dx plus now what I have to take common from the second term is x x 2x square minus y dy is equals to 0 now if I see these terms y plus 2x square it is not a function of xy and 2x square minus y it is not again a function of xy both need not be strictly functions of xy even if one is not a function of xy then we are done so rule 2 is not applicable in this case